You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a video where I'm going to give my thoughts on Ultimate Doom. So guys, it's the first Doom game I've ever played, and I just recently played it, did a series on it. It was my first uh, Doom experience, and uh, I feel like it's fitting that I start with the first Doom experience that a lot of people had way back in the 90s, and uh, I enjoyed it so much. Fantastic game. Love it to death. Doom was just a fantastic experience that I enjoyed so much. It's honestly probably my favorite uh game that I've played all throughout this year, all throughout 2020. Uh, the gameplay is just so much fun. I've assumed, at least to some degree, that going into this, it would be kind of like a mindless shooter, but there's actually quite a bit of strategy to it. You're having to constantly manage your health and your armor and your ammo and just all these other things. There's like a strategy to how you deal with certain types of enemies. There's such cool bosses that you have to go up against. Uh, map design is on point, and it's just it's just a great experience. I absolutely enjoyed this game so much. I love the episodic nature of it. I loved all the different level designs. I could go on and on for quite some time, but the point is, Ultimate Doom is great. It's a game that almost everybody besides me has played at this point, uh, and I can certainly see why. Now, the question probably a lot of you are going to ask is, does it hold up <clears throat> in 2020? Well. I did play this through the Doom 3 BFG edition on Steam, um, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend going that route, unless, like me, you're a completionist and achievement hunter. If so, then yeah, go that route with it, because there were achievements tied to it, and I did want to earn them all, because uh, I, I did all four episodes, um, I got all the achievements, and I also did the unofficial fifth episode, Sigil, um, and played that as well. Now, that wasn't quite as good, uh, the unofficial fifth episode that John Romero made, Doom Sigil, that wasn't quite as good as the first four, but it was still okay. Uh, but the first four were great, the first four episodes in Ultimate Doom. Uh, if I was not a completionist and achievement hunter like I am, and I was just wanting to casually play through Ultimate Doom, I probably would have just bought the regular version, either on Steam or GOG, and then taken the wads and ran them through GZ Doom, so I could have gotten slightly improved textures uh, and the unlocked frame rate that would have come with that. But as far as just regular experience, it was still great. I still enjoyed it uh, so much. And I think for the most part, it really holds up well, even by today's standard. It's still a fun game. And I just, I just had a great time with it. Now, that being said, there were a few mechanics in this game that don't hold up super well today. You can tell it's just really hasn't aged well, and that would be the fact that you can't jump, you can't crouch, uh, you can't aim up or down, or, you know, look up or down or anything. That's a little weird. Um, I didn't care for that, and it took me a little while to get used to. It wasn't that big of a deal, but it just made me feel kind of uncomfortable. Now, with GZ Doom, you can enable all these things because it's a mod, so that's awesome, uh, and I've been doing that for different Doom mods that I've been playing since. Uh, and I would have played the base game that way, except, again, I wanted the achievements. But anyway, you guys get the general idea. Ultimate Doom is awesome. I would recommend this game to anybody who likes old FPSs from the 90s. Uh, as long as you don't mind the older graphics, then this is a great, great game. So, yeah, that's all for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I'll see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Aside from my soul